Okay, hello there. I'm Dennis. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I've got mixed emotions. One emotion is I'm sad to be leaving Arch Linux. I'm not leaving Arch Linux, but I did. This is a Toshiba laptop L L75D, and I've installed. I took. I basically backed up my Arch Linux installation from one hard drive to another using DD, and I just basically cloned the drive. So I have that as a backup, and then I installed OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. <laughs> And I'll tell you, it's, it's snappy. I haven't had any problems. I used my own guide to install it. And I don't really need to go through the installation, although I did record that. I could go through it, but I did a fairly good video on using the OpenSUSE installer. Let me uh, bring up a terminal. Stretch it on out a little bit. And let's see, let's run fast fetch. This is OpenSUSE Tumbleweed on the L75D. It's got resolution is 16 by 9, which is not bad for a laptop. I like it. Uh, it's better than the ASUS, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, let's see, we got AMD processor, AMD Radeon uh, graphics. Memory, we got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the rest of that's okay. And I've got all my programs, including flat packs, installed. The only problem that I had, and it was not a problem, or it was until I found the solution. In my games here, I play a solitaire when I'm waiting on another thing to get finished. But if I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna click on Klondike, Klondike solitaire game. Now. If you go into your uh, change of parents here, uh, if you do, if you, or if I, when I installed three different times on three different machines, when I installed KPAD on those machines, when I'd come here to the configure it and change the appearance, the only thing that was available was this one, I believe. Whichever one it was, it made it practically impossible for me to read it. So this is actually a flat pack and everything works just great, just like it should. See, I got a move there. Maybe we heard that sound. <laughs> sound works just like it should. So I got I got everything, all my programs that I require and prefer on a system, starting with Featherpad for taking notes. Do Not File Manager comes in by default with XFCE. I put it right here and I use it. I prefer PC Man FM, but there's th some things that I prefer uh, Do Not over. Gnome Disk that comes in by default. OBS Studio, I believe I was installed as a flat pack as well as Caden Live. I believe Audacity is not. I'll find out in a second. Krita, GUB CPU, Simple Screen Recorder, Voco Screen, and then the YAS Software and the YAS, we'll call it the YAS Center. System Monitor and the System Monitoring Center. Let's, uh, let me make that a little bigger here. Stretch it out so we can see everything that's on it. There we go. If I run flat pack list, you'll see I got OBS Studio as a flat pack. We got uh, System Monitoring Center, the Fedora Media Writer. I open H264 that comes in with some of these other packages, Caden Live and K Patients. I need to look and see if I can get uh, the SUSE image writer. I mean, it is SUSE. It should come in by default or be available in repositories. Let's just find out real quick. Let's see, that would be under YAS yeah, software. It's going to ask for a password. Ka -ta 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 -ta. While it's loading up, you might see I got this real bright light on my side over this side. It's because I got the curtains open. <laughs> and the way my laptop's facing, that don't really bother me, and I hope it don't make me look bad. <laughs> so, sorry. 
So you can skip the auto fresh here if you want to, but I never do. You could relate this to a Pac-Man hyphen capital S Y Y. It's looking at all the package uh, repos, seeing if there's any updates, which there's not because I just ran it. Let's see why that's doing that. Bring up another terminal. Stretch that out a little bit. And I got my own little script there to tell me some information about my system. It's a UEFI, the 64-bit, and I installed this on the 5th of May. I mean, the 26th of May. Uh, it says we're using 1.6 gigabytes of RAM. Swapping this, I have that turned down all the way to 10. Because I got a return zero here, that's an SSD, and it's a 500 gig hard drive. And that's still not loading. Yeah, come on. My processor must be just being taxed. Yeah, 100% of it. 1.8 gigabytes of RAM usage. But, I mean, I got... GVC view going. I got simple screen recorder going. Open up Yes software. We are recording, so that uses a little more resources. Okay, so we got loaded up here. Refreshed everything. So let's let's do a search here. Let's go image writer. See if that shows up anything. Image Rider Utility for Disk Names, uh, SUSE Image Rider. It doesn't say that here, but that's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight that, and I will install that, but I want to get through with this recording. So anyway, I've got everything, everything that I want or need is installed, even in my games, which all seem to work just great. Super Text Cart works great with uh, my controller let's see i did take a couple things off of that were stocked and installed by default and i took them out and they were using them i think pigeon was one of them yeah and i might get rid of some other things as we go along here but you can see through my multimedia list here we got everything that i'm gonna want uh full LibreOffice suite that comes in by default uh, let's see, hardware listener. I don't know what that is. I have to find that out. We have the sensor view. Let's see how hot we're running. Turn that to Fahrenheit, 145. So I probably need to turn a fan on. I actually hear it running. I hope it ain't over clocking me. So I guess that's going to do it. I just wanted to show that this LD75 is now. Open SUSE has now found a permanent home on this laptop as well as one of my production machines. So I still have arts and I'm still using it. I'm just not going to use it on this machine unless something happens and Open SUSE breaks, which I doubt, or I have a sudden quick change of mind, which I don't. I am a little, <laughs> uh, I almost feel like I got a divorce when I took Arch off of here. Now, I do got a backup. Like I said, I cloned the disk. So if I want to and I get the feeling of bad Jones, I'll just take this hard drive out. It's just two screws. Actually, it's just one screw to get to the hard drive, and then I think two screws to remove it. So I'll put the other one back in here if I feel like I'm Jones. And, but from what I've seen so far, I think I'm going to be okay with it. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace out. Y'all have a good to each other and be kind to yourself. Bye.